SDK so you get a input field similar like this so this this widget here is from the square web SDK so this is for if you want to take square payments but you don't want to use a square checkout page you want to actually embed in into your bubble app the card details you know very similar to what you do with stripe in in bubble so um, you need a, quite a few things set up to get it working it, it's a little bit more complex than uh, just doing it with stripe because stripe's obviously built into bubble so this is a so there's a few things you need to get running in to make it work but you obviously need to get your account set up on on square which gives you an application id and a location id they need to be put into the plugin um, then you need some to add some fields so these are bubble fields and you need to add them with and give them an id because when this you know when you click this uh, button here um, it's going to contact the web SDK and form a token out of the information here and the information here and uh, you can read more about how that works at Square so you uh, can use what's happening under the covers is the web SDK for Square is forming up a um, verification and a token ID and that's being sent back via your bubble app through backend workflows uh, to Square. It's been stored as a card on file and so now you've got a card on file and you can use that for making payments and uh, uh, here you go and this is what it looks like. So in my workflows I've saved the card on file so that's the Square card ID and it's been set against um, it's been added to a Square customer. So in a bigger sort of setup, you would have your square um, set up, and in there where you'd probably have you'd be storing customers, and you might have those customers within customer groups, and you'd probably have a catalog, which have prices and possibly discounts. So um, you can make a much more. In fact, you can get a much more sophisticated setup than you can with Stripe. You just have to work a bit harder. Um, you just um, because you need to create some back-end work a back-end workflow to receive the card details and then this is part of the plugin and the plugin then sends those details off to um, Stripe so here's the kind of details and this this is the methods that the plugin offers um, but you know really simple setup you'll only need to basically set up uh, create a card and a payment but you can, there's a you know very rich API available with with Square, so um, I'm pretty pleased with this. Um, I'm adding more and more to this all the time. I haven't actually released it uh, into the marketplace yet. If you're curious or you want to be an early adopter, I'd be, be happy to talk.